hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adimala badmos if this is your first time of being here please subscribe and like the video if it is helpful for you and also remember to turn on the notification bell so in the last video we introduced cypress 10 and installed it and we were able to see the new files so we are, in this video we are going to talk about the new files and the new uh, and the differences there so like I said in the last video, this will be the last time we would open our Cypress by using npx Cypress open. So let me close this in the video. So let me close this and um, do this. So next, uh, moving on, when we want to open our Cypress, we'll write Cypress, npx Cypress open. And we'll put the E2E flag, since E2E is what we are doing, and we'll specify a browser. Let's continue to use Chrome. We can also use Edge if we want, or we use Firefox if we want. So, our, as well, we can use Electron. Electron, but we will stick to Chrome. So, before we open it, let's talk about the new files. So, the config.js file, the cypress.config.js file has replaced the cypress.json file. So, what this means is um cypress is exploiting the js um all the js feature and um, capabilities that it has so it makes things faster and trendier these days and uh, it gives the opportunity to be able to duplicate um, the plugins folder such that um, everything that you want to do in the plugin folder can be done using the setup node events like i said the plugins are used to uh, load preprocessors like uh, all the uh, all plugins that requires the node to process itself the preprocessors are done under this and you use the setup node events to do that for the e2e and if you're doing component testing you can equally have components let me just copy and paste let me copy and paste. You can equally have components. And we change this to component. And you can equally have components and have this done for the component testing as well. So this is where all plugins will be done. You can create your config files inside here. If you need to, you uh, just write on we've been using a webpack preprocessor before so we'll just have something like file preprocessor then we name the file when we want to do it so uh, when we get to bdd we will do that because we will need uh, cypress uh, we need the kumba preprocessor to work with that so that is done so um, all other configuration continues to follow here like the base url can just come in here the base url uh, from the last video, we had um, Amazon. So let us continue to use Amazon. We'll still write the same code here and we'll continue. Or perhaps we just use this opportunity to start a new life and pick something very um, more related to automation, like um, some real life uh, scenarios. So probably we just change to source demo. Source source demo and um, we see this so the snippet written here would make sense now so if we try to run this in our um, cypress environment it would run so let us um, open this you will see it will just open to the spec file for us that we've um, specified and it's so it's there so if I click on this, we expect it to visit source demo for us. So that is it about it. So let us continue to um, talk about the remaining folders. So now that we've talked about the cypress.json uh, file, it means every other config that we're doing in cypress.json file before we can do it here. Like we can add the default command timeout. We can add the default command timeout and change it from the default 4,000 milliseconds to 30,000 milliseconds. That is um, 30,000 seconds. 
Um, these can still be viewed, I believe. Um, let's just we don't need it. We don't. Okay, let's try this again. So once this loads up with this new configuration, we can view it. It would just automatically run. I think we would also put the watch for file changes there. So um, like we did before. So we are in the settings. If we open the project settings, pardon my, okay. Why is it taking a while to open? Okay, so finally it opened. So if we come here, you can see all the things that we've changed. The base URL has changed to source demo. The default command timeout that we changed has changed, has um, been edited here. So we can equally continue to change things and we would be seeing it here as um, we were seeing in the previous versions of uh, Cypress. So um, let's copy some other changes that we'd like to make here. Let's get to maybe um, the page load timeout will remain the same. Let's um, change um, the viewport height and the viewport width. And um, let's also change the weight for file changes. So when we change the weight for file changes, what that means is um, we are basically saying that any change we make, the Cypress runner should not pick it automatically until we refresh the page ourselves. So um, with that being said, we can copy those and uh, make the changes that we want to make to them. So uh, we can bring them here and uh, paste um, let me format the file oh god I don't mean so let me just format this format document so I change the height to pre probably 900 and I change the width to 400 to have a better resolution as you can see all the changes I'm making, it's picking it up. But wait till I change this to false. Let me change this to false and it will not pick up any change anymore. So it won't be able to detect any change anymore at this point. As you can see, it has stopped. It will just keep rolling because it cannot pick up the change. So when I click try again, it will just wait at um, the... It will just load the file for me as expected then we do not need to change the weight for animations we will leave that one it has no um, business with us we just want to make sure that the file change is not done anymore so with that done we can still continue to make our configuration so let's talk about fixtures folder so the fixtures folder remains the same you can store elements in the uh, in the json file right you can store elements in the JSON file of the fixtures folder like we did in the previous examples and uh, in the previous uh, playlist we, we can store elements here our locators and all and the best practice of selecting locators still remains the same okay so um with that being said and we can also upload our folders here uh, upload our files here like our pdf file excel file picture files that I want to load into our test cases in, inside the fixtures folder. So the use still remains the same. So there's a little bit of modification in the support folder. The e to if.js is made instead of an index.js, but it still practically serves the same purpose. So when you've created some files that are, um, if, you've, uh, in, uh, if you've installed some dependencies that um, would need to run before your script run, you will use the e to e.js just like the same way you use the index.js in the support folder of previous versions. So what you basically do is um, you import those particular files in the commands.js. I mean, uh, yes, you import those particular files in the e to e.js rather. So that way, those files, those commands are, are, are easily used in the support folder. Uh, how they will be implemented will be done here as well. And uh, we would also be looking at how in the future, in the in future videos, 
we'll look at how we will be using uh, how we will be using custom commands in the support folder and now we can still use these default folders to implement page object modeling in uh, cypress thank you for watching